Hello, welcome to New Vale Dynasty, where we talk about upgrading, enhancing um, our skill or the awakening skill, or not. So today we're going to talk about Gorja because Gorja is one of the um, heroes that I awaken in my main account. So let's talk about Gorja original skill first. Uh, freezing six targets, well, release six frosts that can freeze up to or even more than a. Uh, uh, six targets pretty random uh, how many targets you can hit and i've made a video before talking about the range and uh, where it land all that technical stuff about uh, guoja's skill and unlike huang zhong his skill is not um that far away okay it's more radially from his uh target compared to huang zhong it's uh it's gonna go further away from the target uh, if that makes sense so if you use them before you know what i'm talking about because Gorja, uh ice uh ice fall or the frost will actually hit around the target instead of from the target and on so right now um my Gorja is 10 uh, 15 level 60 uh does 1300 damage for uh, and freeze enemies or buildings up to 10 seconds so that's a pretty good amount However, Gorjas tend to have very low damage because at level 50, before Awakening, he does 1200 damage already. So getting the 10 extra level give him only 100-ish extra damage, and the 5 extra skills will also give him uh, another 100-something uh, damage. It will go up to 1500, and that's it. Um, the reason why I Awaken him is when I first um, try to do the uh, single-player uh, campaign, I'm trying to destroy the four star cities uh, alchemist tower which has 1450 hp however i was hoping that if i awaken him get him up to level 60 will be enough but it turns out it was not enough i have to level up his skills which i did not do at that time so uh, unfortunately gorja is pretty bad right now <laughs> um, obviously he's not the damage type because his skill does offer utility it will freeze um things in uh, for 10 seconds and that's a max you get that when you're at i think 9 out of 10 before awakening something like that or even maybe 10 out of 10 before awakening so you don't really get any advantage from awakening him or leveling his skill above uh, 10 or 15 because you only get a little bit extra damage and it's not really worth it because it's it's still a really low damage because 1200 damage Let's say, you know, at level 50, 10 out of 10, it's 1200 damage. Huang Zhong can do 1200 damage at level, uh, at skill level 3 without the um, attack uh, partnership. So, as you can see, the, the difference is huge. They have similar type of skill, but one does so much more damage because a, uh, un, uh, a level 50, 10 out of 10 uh, damage partnership satisfy, Huang Zhong does 1800 damage, which is even more than a level 60 15 out of 15 Gorja. obviously Gorja can freeze that's one thing but 10 seconds is not enough because the bases that you will attack right now tends to be bigger tends to have more hp the heroes you attack have more hp 10 seconds is not enough for you to do anything compared to before 10 seconds uh, is a very long time because you can take out so many buildings and uh, uh um, heroes within the 10 seconds but right now 10 seconds it's nothing <laughs> especially the base is so big um he tends to wander around because he will he doesn't know he, he won't be able to focus in the middle just like any fan hero and his skill does not help him do that as well his skill he has to focus on the target that he is attacking and then the range is limited to um a couple tiles away from the target that he is aiming at so that's a big problem because you can reliably um use him to freeze the targets for 10 seconds so compared to i mean what so what am i using gorja for right now uh the only thing that i use him for is alliance dungeon because he could freeze things and i don't have pang tong if i have pang tong i probably won't use gorja uh be, simple, the most uh basic reasonable uh, reason is because pang tong is a passive skill released multiple times in one battle although he does um freeze i think only up to seven seconds or six seconds a much lower time but i mean it's really by chance sometimes i don't even get to use gorja and he dies before i could find a good time to use his skill so 10 seconds compared to six seconds but pantong can do it a couple times so obviously pantong should be a better choice unless you really want to have the ability to control when to freeze so if all your ability all your hero combination 
really uh, doesn't last for the whole battle. Really short, uh, short battle and uh, fast high damage. Then uh, Guoja will be the better choice because you can pick when to do it. But if you prolong your battle, you will try to do uh, fight the battle as long as possible because most of your other heroes or troops can stay alive for a long time. Then Pangtong obviously the better choice because Guoja is the same thing as he was before Awakening. But obviously after Awakening, you get the Awakening skill, which um, in my opinion is really bad for um, for Guoja. Um, it seems like it's a pretty good thing at, at first, but actually it's pretty bad. Um, so he will freeze three targets within the seven tiles. Randomly choose three, tar three targets to freeze them. First, this doesn't do any damage and it's really random. You don't really get to choose what to freeze. Seven tiles is a pretty big range. There could be a lot of things in there. And you can't really minimize the range because if you go anything below five tiles, that means the archer hero can just outrange your ability, which is stupid. So the range has to be big and freezing three target is so little and you can't control, which is uh, very bad. And once you're wicking him, you get three seconds. And each time you level it up, uh, you get one more second up to seven seconds. So seven seconds is not really a lot compared to if his original skill can do 10 seconds already. After you die, you get 7 more seconds, but so what? You're dead already. Nothing can help you. Now, you can only uh, partner this with the... Um, this worked pretty well with the treasure that spawns um, Alchemist, and that's how I have it. So, it will spawn Alchemist, and the Alchemist can immediately attack the frozen target, but also, it depends what target it got... what target did, uh, he froze, because if he frees the wrong thing, then the Alchemist doesn't do anything, because they will get killed pretty quickly anyways so uh, useful thing is not really I mean on defense if the attacker only use hero then it's useful because the freeze the, the frost will guarantee uh, freezing the hero but if the attacker uses troops as well then those ice cubes will land randomly and most of the time it will land on troops and then the hero can continue auto attacking and using their skill to kill the rest of my alchemist and everything else so it's really bad in my opinion his skill um now we can still talk we still have to talk about upgrading his skill uh to see if it's actually worth because it actually doesn't <laughs> here's why you spend the hundred fifty thousand of awakening him you get three seconds the next hundred fifty thousand beats you spend you get only two seconds because you level him up two times and then you spend the next hundred fifty thousand to get one second and then two hundred thousand for uh one second again obviously it's always the same thing. Always you get less the more you you, uh, you spend, the higher the level you are. And in previous video, I have talked about most of the time, um, heroes with awakening skill that increase time or decrease time is pretty good, except Guoja because his is very unproportional. The time is not really that um, useful. Unlike uh, Crazy Zhu Zhu, he, he increased uh, every time you level him up, it increased half a second. But it actually, that half a second actually matters because it can reach the maximum of 15 seconds of his uh, skill um, duration. In here, getting 4 more seconds doesn't do you any good. Be just because it, it's, it's pointless to freeze someone or some building for 4 seconds, uh, for 7 seconds, and nothing happened anyways. So, his skill is probably the worst skill out of... I think all of these stuff is Star Hero. I don't, I, as of right now, I, don't, I can't think of anyone that has a worse skill uh, for Awakening at least, okay? Before Awakening him, at earlier stage, he is very strong because he does enough damage. Uh, he can freeze for 10 seconds, and that's very awesome. But once you need to Awaken him and beyond Awakening him, his skill, his damage doesn't hold up. Uh, the time doesn't get longer. His Awakening skill is really trash <laughs> because you have to have him die first. So if he's dead already, then doesn't do anything. It doesn't do any good. So things that I think it can make Guoja better is increasing the time. Maybe get one more second for each level, up to 15 seconds. And then um, if his awakening skill can have some uh, buff, that would be better. Maybe freeze more target, maybe do damage. That will at least be something because when he dies, he can actually do damage. Or change the way that um, 
you freeze targets, maybe a more reliable way of freezing the targets you want to freeze, or at least you know which can be frozen. Um, that could make him more valuable because right now, I really regret um, awakening him <laughs> because it's really bad, uh, in my opinion. He's not strong at all. And the only thing that I get from him is the extra HP and the extra damage from getting him uh, 10 extra level. So this is it for this video. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on which hero to talk about, let me know. If not, then I'll just continue talking about the uh, heroes that I have awakened. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.